for the sign of Libra hello and welcome to my channel just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards I'll be going through the past present challenge and outcome so Libra in the recent past we have the seven of wands so with this card you are you're probably likely to find that in any sort of competition situation or competitive situation that you came out on top now this should have been going very well you should have been feeling great about any projects and they would have been moving right along at this time you probably still had regular moments of self-doubt but then was not the time to panic or feel fear you would have needed to make sure to do it anyway even if you had doubts and fears you did or you should have done whatever you needed to do anyway also don't hesitate to make where you stand clear with people your thinking was clear at that time and you were probably likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them now keep in mind this card it also points towards being independent and thinking for yourself and it's paired with the eight of wands now a lot of things could have been up in the air for you for you at that time there were things were up in the air um, you may had started to feel frustrated and tired of waiting now this card is an indicator that you had to be patient and also you probably had done all that you could do and decisions at that time needed to be made by other people so when this card appears in a reading it's showing that nothing seemed to be moving ahead so the best thing to do or what you did was you didn't force anything because you knew that would backfire on you so all you could really do was to put your best out there and see where it landed and you've put your best out there at that time and so really all you could do was wait and that's in the past so let's move on to the present we have a page of wands now with this card people are warm ambition I'm sorry they're warm ambitious and they're usually high achievers so if this is not an actual person in your life it indicates the energy of ease or the energy of easy distraction so at this time you're going to need to try to stay focused now this card it indicates that things you started some time ago they're starting to come to life they're starting to come to fruition it can also show a need for new things new adventures new approaches and new ideas now the page brings us positive energy but with this card you have to remember that you must supply the follow through and it's paired with the three of pinnacles now this is a very positive card particularly with regards to work or career matters but it's a good overall card to get in a reading that means you're doing well now the three of pentacles tells you that the people around you they appreciate your efforts and they notice the quality of work you do even if you're not getting paid for it now 
this card it also tells you to keep doing what you're doing as you're on the right track. You don't need to scrap something then start again because what you're doing is it's, it's, it's either meant to be or it's meant for you. You're on the right track. Just remember that. And with these two cards paired together, the Page of Wands, try to stay focused. Things you started some time ago, they're starting to come to fruition. And it's paired with the Three of Pentacles. Uh, people, they're appreciating your efforts and the quality of work you do. So whatever is starting to come to fruition for you, whatever is starting to come to life for you that you had started on some time ago, people around you, they're noticing it. They're praising you. They're praising you for it. They're acknowledging this. And uh, with the Three of Pentacles, it's just letting you know you're on the right track. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't don't uh, stop it. Stop what you're doing. Then start again. There's no need to do that. No need to scrap something and then start again because you're on the right track. And people are noticing this and um, they're really uh, paying attention to you. And um, and they're admiring you. So everything is moving forward with these two cards. And that's a good thing. That's in your present. So let's move on to the challenge. The King of Cups. Now this speaks of a balanced male and female energy. Uh, this card, it holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. It often indicates a man though. It indicates a male figure in your life. Uh, usually, if we're, if we're referring to a male figure, um, this man is usually a very kind and loving man. They'll generally, he'll generally have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. Uh, as you can see in the picture, that's what it's showing, but it doesn't have to be. Um, just know that you are supported by the universe in, in ways seen and unseen. Now, the King of Cups represents kindness and compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is. So, nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you when you get this card in the reading. And the King of Cups is paired with the Seven of Pentacles. This is a card about returns on investments. Now it can be things such as a bank account returning money to you or something like investments of time and effort and energy that you put into people or relationships. You'll be reaping what you sow at this time now this is positive so basically you should be feeling more secure than you have in a while things will be moving along they'll be moving along very well and you'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a very good cause now you may have well i would say you may have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, and situations that you're already involved with or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. So at this time, you would need to choose wisely. And with these two cards paired together, the King of Cups is about a male figure. Uh, he's in your life or maybe he could be coming towards you but I'm, I'm showing that he's already in your life. Um, he's a very loving and kind man uh, with the element of pure and true love. So 
He's very supportive of you. So this is a really good person to have in your life. Uh, I don't know, it's not saying if he's already there or someone coming towards you, but uh, the King of Cups represent this male figure, uh, kindness and compassionate also. And it's paired with the Seven of Pentacles um, about returns on investments or return of returns coming back to you for the time and effort and energy that you put into relationships. Uh, so it could be that this um, uh, male figure is a part of your life and uh, he could have something to do with returning money to you or helping you get money back into your life so either way it goes he's supportive of whatever you're doing because he's a loving and kind compassionate person and it's about getting returns back to you so he's helping you in some type of way with getting investments put back into your life so these are all with a good cause and it's great for your future. And that's gonna be the challenge. And then we move on to the outcome, the Knight of Swords. Now this brings a fairly upbeat and cheerful energy. As you can see in the picture, he looks like, he looks like he's charging onward. Now the Knights can also often mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. Now this card also points to your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a high peak. So if you're waiting for news from someone or something, you're more than likely to love and enjoy what you hear. Now this card can point to a lot of activity, travel, being out and about, getting things accomplished, you're more than likely to feel, well, you're, you're more than unlikely to feel like waiting. You won't feel like waiting for anything to come to you. And now that's a good thing. You, you're going to want to go after your heart's desire at this time. That's with the Knight of Swords and it's paired with the Four of Swords. Now, this is a card that signifies a break or a need for a break from normal life. This can also mean that you or someone in your life, they could withdraw for a time. Now, this withdrawal is not likely to be permanent. It also occasionally means illness or time in the hospital or even more rarely, time in jail. Now, illness, keep in mind, it could be just a flu or a bad call. I mean, it doesn't, mean, it doesn't have to mean true sickness. Now, it could just be a type of minor illness. Like I said, the flu or, you know, uh, just, just anything minor. Illness doesn't mean major. Okay, so I just wanted to run that by you. Um, so it's a clear signifier to give people their space at this time. Okay. Also, you'll be needing some time and space for yourself, uh, because others, they could be pushing too hard for bits of your time and attention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. Now, when others say no to you, take them at their word. Pushing in this circumstance is asking for trouble. So with these two of with these two cards paired together, the Knight of Swords, it's about upful, upbeat, cheerful energy. Something or someone is about to seek you out in a desirable way or either something desirable is about to seek you out 
your energy is at an utmost high, or you could be waiting for news from someone or something, and once you get the news, you'll, you'll very much so uh, love or either like what you hear. You'll be getting a lot of things accomplished at this time. And it's paired with the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords is about a need for a break. So with all that's going on with the Knight of Swords, which is this up, upbeat, cheerful energy, and all the, um, the news and the excitement that's coming towards you, you're probably feeling a little bit drained. That's what the Four of Swords is saying. So you just need to take a break and then go back to all the wonderful events that are coming your way. Enjoy that, then take a break, and then go back to the fun and excitement. So it's just saying that don't forget that you do need rest because uh, with the Knight of Swords, it's an exciting, challenging uh, rush. It'll feel probably feel everything will be, be feeling rushed and excited. You know, the adrenaline gets going. So you're going to have to remember to take a break with the Four of Swords. That's all I'm saying. So go ahead and enjoy this time. And that's going to be the outcome. So Libra, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe. Leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching. And have a great day.